moment because they know that it is very, very soon. Now, in addition, if you want to talk predictions, you have to call on Ray Kurzweil. Essentially, he's a futurist and he has made a lot of predictions, 147, and there's an 86% win ratio, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Now, of course, some people have, you know, debated whether or not this ratio is as high as he claims, but um, I would say that his predictions have come true a decent amount. Now, essentially, his prediction on AGI is that artificial intelligence will achieve human level by 2029, which is, once again, still going to be pretty crazy, even if it does happen at 2029, because if we do have artificial super intelligence, it's going to allow us to do a lot of things, like a lot of breakthroughs that is just going to completely change everything. And that's why this is so shocking, because I didn't realize that it could only take a year. I, I don't know. I mean, I think that maybe people aren't thinking about things such as, you know, the actual compute, the actual, you know, laws in place that might try to regulate this kind of stuff into the ground, the kind of, uh, maybe there's going to be some kind of, I guess you could say, financial crashes or essentially other things that could potentially stop this. But provided everything is smooth, like there's no, you know, black swan event, there's no like bubonic plague, the world doesn't need to go into a shutdown and AGI research isn't kind of delayed, um, ASI by the end of the decade is a pretty scary thing to think about, okay? And that is why I stated that it goes on, okay? So here it states godlike powers, okay? So it says, probably whoever controls ASI, listen to this, this is the craziest bit that I was reading this and I was like, is this even real? Am I even living in reality right now? It says, probably whoever controls artificial superintelligence will have access to spread to a spread of powerful skills and abilities that will be able to build and wield technologies that seem like magic to us, just as modern tech would seem like magic to medievals. This will probably give them godlike powers over whoever doesn't control ASI. So that brings an important question. Do you think OpenAI, let's say they have ASI, they have it aligned, do you think OpenAI are going to distribute ASI or are they just going to, you know, patent all the technologies as a kind of subsidiary of open as of OpenAI? Because if they have ASI and nobody else has it, that's going to be the most valuable thing on the planet. And if they're able to distribute Cure, if they're able to distribute, you know, new technology, I mean, that's going to make the company super, super, super valuable because like it states here, they're probably going to give them godlike powers over anyone who doesn't control ASI because that level of smartness is unfathomable. Like it's very hard to conceptualize how smart it is because what in several reports and you know researchers and stuff like that it's basically like trying to explain economics to essentially a b like that it's not crazy okay um and that is quite scary that you know hope is is mentioned here so it says there are some reasons to be hopeful about that but there are also some reasons to be pessimistic and the literature on this topic is small and pre pragmatic which is of course true then of course we have um sam altman which is a great clip which you guys should take a look at because he's actually talking about um the alignment problem is like we're gonna make this incredibly powerful system and be really bad if it doesn't do what we want or or if it sort of has you know goals that are uh either in conflict with ours um and many sci-fi movies about what happens there or goals where it just like doesn't care about us that much and so the alignment problem is how do we build agi that that does what is in the best interest of humanity how do we make sure that humanity gets to determine the you know the future of humanity um and how do we avoid both like accidental misuse um, like where something goes wrong that we didn't intend, intentional misuse where like a bad person is like using an AGI for great harm, even if that's what the person wants. And then the kind of like, you know, inner alignment problems where like, what if this thing just becomes a creature that views us as a threat? The, the way that I think the self-improving systems help us is not necessarily by the nature of self-improving, but like we have some ideas about how to solve the alignment problem at small scale. Um, and we've you know, been able to align OpenAI's biggest models better than we thought we'd, we would at this point. So that's good. Um, we have some ideas about what to do next, um, but we cannot honestly like look anyone in the eye and say, we see out a hundred years how we're going to solve this problem. Um, but once the AI is good enough that we can ask it to like, hey, can you help us do alignment research? Um, I think that's going to be a new tool in the toolbox. So essentially in that clip, Sam Altman actually does talk about how they're going to use AIs, an internalized version of maybe an AI, AGI or an narrow AI that's able to really, really understand how to align um, these AI systems. And of course, he does talk about the fact that, you know, we could have an AI that just, you know, eventually evolves into some kind of creature that just, you know, does its own thing. And that's pretty scary coming from someone who's the CEO of a major company that is building some of the most impactful technology that we will have in.